On February 8, 2024, right on the NBA trade deadline, the OKC Thunder acquired Gordon Hayward from the Charlotte Hornets. With the Thunder poised for a deep playoff run, the trade seems to favor not only Hayward's career but also Anta in terms of brand exposure. In fact, for his first photo shoot as a Thunder, Hayward immediately delivered by lacing up what seems to be his fifth signature shoe, the Anta GH5. So let's talk. Welcome back this is fresh bear smash the thumbs up button share this video to your friends follow me on instagram if you're new here subscribe to my channel for updates that said let's dive in On October 2018, Gordon Hayward signed with Anta. At the start of his deal, Hayward mostly wore the low-top version of the Anta KT4, Clay Thompson's fourth signature shoe. Almost a year later or on August 2019, the brand unveiled the Anta GH1, the first signature shoe of Hayward. Hayward's signature line with Anta would have three more iterations over the next few years. In 2021, Anta released the GH2. The following year, we saw the GH3 in full display. Then on April 2023, Anta unveiled Gordon Hayward's fourth signature shoe with the brand, the GH4. And now for the first time, we have a look at what could potentially be the Anta GH5. During his first photo shoot as a Thunder, Gordon Hayward wore a new pair of shoes, possibly his fifth signature shoe with Anta, the GH5. I say this because the bottom lace tab at the top of the toe box has Hayward's logo together with the fact that this is an unreleased Anta shoe. The shoe itself is a low top silhouette and this particular colorway is predominantly orange. The base material for the upper looks like mesh with darker orange TPU film overlays around the toe box and a vertical overlay at the sides. Unlike in Hayward's previous shoes, the GH5 does not seem to have a prominent anti branding on the upper. Meanwhile, the body of the tongue seems to use a soft open type mesh while the top of the tongue is rounded and likely uses foam padded closed mesh. For the lacing setup, the GH5 has a webbing eyelet at the bottom, three punched eyelets in the midsection of the throat, and two cables near the collar area. For the midsole, it's highly likely that the Anta GH5 will continue to use full-length Nitro Edge foam midsole. The midsole setup looks similar to the Shockwave 5 where the lateral is caged while the medial is exposed. And like the Shockwave 5, the GH5 also seems to have a bottom-loaded arched plastic shank at the midfoot. Keep in mind that the lateral toe section of the midsole drops at a sharp diagonal towards the bottom. Instead of relying mostly on an out trigger, the cut of the midsole does the same effect. This gives the shoe a wider base at the front. We don't have a clear look at the outsole just yet, but based on the patterns visible on the rubber outsole that extend to the midsole, the outsole of the GH5 could possibly feature large, modified herringbone. It's possible that the pattern runs almost full length based on how the treads have been implemented in previous models. Unlike the past four signature shoes of Gordon Hayward, the Anta GH5 seems to adopt a more standard look and setup. So far, it does not have elaborate design elements, making the shoe have that no-frills, straight-up basketball kicks feel to it. However, it does give the impression that not much effort has been put into designing the GH5 as the lower half setup looks somewhat similar to what we have already seen in the Shockwave 5 series. If this is indeed the Anta GH5, the bottom is a partial rehash, although performance-wise, it could get the job done. In the meantime, let me know what you think about the possible Anta GH5. Post your thoughts in the comment section, smash the thumbs up button, share this video to your friends, follow me on Instagram. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel for updates. This is Fresh Pear. Thanks for watching. Peace and love to the fellow underdogs.